Goldstein and uh, these paintings are representative of my love for the beaches and um, mangrove swamps of South Florida uh, that are really threatened. Um, they're building tall buildings that block out the sun at the beach and the, the mangrove swamps can be found mainly only in nature centers these days. And uh, I try to replicate the colors, the feeling, the atmosphere of what it's like to sit on these beaches and just look at the water, which I like to do. Um, very often my husband and I go, we sit on the beach and we just watch the water. And uh, we like to go to the Ant Cold Nature Center and walk around and look at the mangroves. Recently we took a really lovely boat trip there that took us around. They have a big, big estuary where the mangroves are growing and the fact that they're disappearing is very dangerous for South Florida because they stop flooding, they stop storm surge, and I think Florida, because it's so low, needs these protections. So I'm very grateful that there are a few places where they are still around and protecting the little fish and sailfish that um, live there. Creo and I represent the artist Park McGinty and for our final show we've done Park's favorite works. Uh, this one I'm standing in front of in particular he loved. It's called Mandala and the deeper you look into each pocket the more you'll find flowers, a gold beetle, um, you'll find all kinds of little different kinds of cloths lining each of the different pockets. It was it was like a, a love fest between him and each surface. He loved this multitude of surfaces that he could play on. Another one that he particularly liked is this one, Orgasm. This one, it was, it was a building and building and building, and when I thought he could not add more, he kept adding and adding. Um, and for him, it was, it was an escalation that just consumed him for weeks. Uh, these others are also favorites, and if you look inside of them, Archipelago or Peach and Joe, you'll find some minerals, you'll find obviously copper slag, but you'll also find different kinds of fabrics again. It's, he, he liked to bring this diversity of elements so that you would get the experience of different textures, different sizes, different brightnesses, different colors. And in the end, it, was, it just is a very uplifting um, a journey into how much can a person wonder, how much curiosity can a woman, a person sustain. So we welcome you, and I've been a lot, it's been a lot of fun sharing this art.
Hi, my name is Leonardo Lanzola. All of this is my work, my most recent work, I should say. And is, ciao, it's all done very unintentionally, and that's how I like to, to work with my art. Uh, I like the conducive quality of the color. They, uh, they show me some shapes and some nuances, and then I develop uh, through my feeling, my stimulation. It's very unintentional. When I'm saying that, uh, means that I integrate urbanity into it. I, I integrate visions that I can interpret in reality, how I get stimulated from it. And uh, comes out most likely, all the time, characters of any kind. And uh, I consider this character of personality, uh, personality of people. No, no specific people, but a combination of people are simple and complex. Uh, character. Character comes from visions that are not just human or animal, but they can integrate both aspects of it. And uh, I'm very, very stimulated all the time when I get the sense of surprise that let me uh, come out with something that I didn't expect. And it's all the unexpected thing. And, uh, and then becomes expected after I see them. It's my le some of my latest work started with this direction about uh, two years ago and uh, I, I'm really having fun with that. I'm enjoying it and uh, I do these things in small, the, this fine art in, in big, on canvas. Uh, this specific one are done, uh, are done on digital at the beginning and then I do acrylic application after the digital process is printed because the original, the first original piece Got, got to be printed uh, through canvas and then I do application or on mounted panel or on canvas. And I'm very pleased about them because they're very genuine, very stimulating and they give suggestions on many different things from cartoonish illustration, fine art and combine, uh, combines reality with uh, uh, also sophistication or more conservative tasks and uh, political or not, or social, or just simply fantasy and fine art. And I hope to reach everybody with this, from the young kid to the adult. And uh, the reference of my personal style over the years, like anybody got to have references, he, uh, were uh, Picasso, Jamiro, Paul Klee, uh, Du Buffet. I'm a self-taught artist and I consider myself an outsider artist in the sense that I'm self-taught. I never get a, a very uh, traditional uh, 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 artistic uh, education.